Welcome everybody. So I would like to talk about uh, Okun's law and uh, it is related to exercise class one. And there, like we had some information about the Okun's law in Germany and the Okun's law in the US. Um, Okun's law, this is the relationship between the change in the unemployment rate on the vertical axis and the growth rate of real GDP on the horizontal axis. Uh, like we have some data related to the time period from the 1980s uh, to 2013. So also the crisis year of 2009 is included. In the crisis year in Germany, GDP decreased by 5%, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, this is the GDP variable. And uh, in the US, um, GDP decreased by 2.8% in the year 2009. So let's check whether we find these uh, data in our data set. Yes, like this data point, for example, this is a growth rate of real GDP in Germany in the year 2009, minus 5%, and the unemployment rate increased by 0.14 percentage and in the US uh, the data point for the crisis is equal to this one here in 2009 so growth rate of real GDP is equal to minus 2.8 and the unemployment rate in the US increases drastically like by 3.5 percentage points. Um, a regression is already run. What is important here is the slope parameter. It is minus 0.24, so minus 0.25 in Germany, and it's minus 0.43 in the US. So this line is much steeper in the US compared to Germany. So when there is a bad um, year like a recession in the US unemployment rate increases tremendously compared to Germany uh, but also when there is like a good year when the economy is booming in the US then the unemployment rate decreases very fast so the US is a higher and fire economy compared to Germany now your task is to proceed and um, create the same scatter diagram for Denmark. You should insert this graph for Denmark here. So some data are given, like in a first step, we have to find the information for the GDP uh, growth rate. So the growth rate of real GDP in the year 1981 in Denmark. So we have to find this information. Let's check column number E. Yeah, like we have some information here about Denmark. Uh, this is GDP. Uh, and this is like the unemployment rate. So like when it comes to GDP, we can just uh, insert the information here. Like G2, this is the right cell. And then we copy like all the information to the right. Uh, so we have the growth rate of real GDP in this uh, column and then change in unemployment rate. Like here, we have to compute the change of the unemployment rate. It is uh, the unemployment rate in 1981, G5, minus the unemployment rate in the 1980s, minus F5. So like change in the unemployment rate is computed here. So uh, from 1981, uh, from 1980 uh, to 1981, it is the case that the unemployment rate in Denmark increased by 1.8 percentage points. I'll also copy this information to the right. Uh, then uh, we can start to create the scatter plot. So I have to mark the whole area. I'm marking only the data. So like I'm marking um, the data with the GDP and the change in the unemployment rate, like all the data which are there. Then I go to Einfügen, insert. I'm taking this icon here, 
punct xy, xy scatter diagram. I take the first one, not the one with lines. So this doesn't make sense. So take the first one and you have created this graph. Then like leave the graph, uh, click on one cell, then once more make a double click on this um, uh, on the uh, picture. And then like you have one item here, which is called Schnell Layout, Fast Layout, and you take layout number nine. Third row, third column, uh, layout number nine. And then you format this graph like a little bit. Um, I want to delete this one here. Diagram title should be deleted. And then we have the information here about the regression line. Uh, we also have to put titles on like uh, growth rate of real GDP on the horizontal axis and then like change in the unemployment rate on the vertical axis. And we can also use like different colors here to highlight uh, what we have changed, make it a bit larger here so that we can see all the information a bit better than before. So the slope of Denmark is minus 0.35. And hence uh, in Denmark, it is like somewhat in between compared to the US and Germany. Germany has a very low Okun coefficient of minus 0.25. In the US, it's minus 0.45. And in Denmark, it is in between minus 0.35. So the Danish labor market is not as flexible as the US one, but uh, yeah, much more flexible compared to like the German one. Uh, this is uh, the only relevant part of uh, exercise cl class one. Um, so like uh, all the other assignments are not so relevant for the final exam, perhaps for the multiple choice part, but not for the assignment part. So I'll stop here the recording in case that you have questions. Please comment in the YouTube comments or send an email. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.